I did a video on uh, being sick of Black Panther. Not me. Haven't seen it. But uh, TJ Kirk did a video. He was saying he was getting sick of the Black Panther. He hadn't, who movie hadn't even been out yet. Uh, but considering the fact that it was probably overly advertised and there's all this uh, hoopla about it because people are trying to prevent the racist from commenting and downgrading the movie before they even know about it. They're, they're just trying to prevent stupid shit. And sometimes you can't prevent stupid shit unless you do some stupid shit. It sucks, but that's the way of the human animal. That's what we do. Uh, can't be pleased, always disappointed. And then if we are pleased, it has to be completely in our favor. I mean, it can't be a compromise. It can't be a, Oh, I got this little bit or something it has to be absolutely in our favor to our complete liking and and then have the time where it was good it was nice but i'm not talking about black panther today i haven't seen it i won't be able to see it until i can uh you know watch it by other means my illness prevents me from going to the movies anyway my kid pretty much prevents us from going to movies because she ain't gonna sit still she ain't gonna be quiet so there's two things keeping us at home but I want to talk about uh, when it comes to movies. And I, this is um, talking under that video I did uh, talking to Conquering Thought. Go check out his channel, please. Um, it's uh, people can't. I mean, when, when it comes to movies, what can you do? I mean, how can how can you actually be impressed? I mean, someone's going to have to dress a certain way. They're going to have to look a certain way, act a certain way. But when you take that away, what about the movie in total? The plot. I think every plot has ever been done. All plots. The whys of why a villain would do anything. It's, it's hard to write a script where someone makes sense. Where, uh, for example, if you've seen... And this, this is one of the things I'm talking about where it makes sense. And it's not even a movie. For example, uh, Black Lightning, Tobias... If you haven't seen the uh, TV show, I think it's on um, episode four by now, three or four. But uh, this is a spoiler, so you might want to skip ahead and just kind of. <laughs> but uh, Tobias, what he to me, who, I, I don't know who's playing him. I haven't looked that up. I don't try to get that deep into it because I'm never going to meet the person. But. That guy has the it factor when it comes to, in my mind, when it comes to being an actor. But uh, his character has a good reason for being as miffed as he is. I, I didn't want to say pissed, angry, ticked off. No, miffed. It's miffed or vexed. I mean, just emotionally unyielding vexness, if that's a word. <laughs> Miffness. Um he got he's got dad issues um severe ones and rightfully so and he wants to feel important and when people want to feel important they'll go through lots of means so that makes sense um and then you get other ones like uh the flash uh, you know uh, like what was devote this the current one going on right now i'm like that's right now because I don't know I don't follow the comments or none of that but right now I'm like DeVos got the dumbest reason to be a, a villain a super villain he could have gotten help in a few ways maybe you know but usually the sad part is if you have a debilitating illness that's going to kill you getting help is more like we're going to ease you until you die so a lot of stuff that he did to get where he is now um more than half of it is dumb as hell because you have to conflict with someone that isn't even on your radar that you could have you could have evaded outright completely so he gets uh what he wants i'm not trying to spoil it for anyone um he gets what he wants and then he's still fucking with the flash how do you win and say i haven't won enough what and then it's like, okay, now you now you mess with me, you're ruining me. Why? You know, what's the point? And I don't know the reasons. And when it comes to movies, 
what what are you gonna do that's original? Considering the fact that the Flash, this about as original that you're gonna get, I think. Uh, I don't know. You could get more original. I don't know. Because in order to be original now, everything has to be stupid. It can't be a, a real decent reason other than I've been annoyed at the dishes for a few weeks. I did not want to clean them and I was just upset. So I went on a killing spree. Blame me if you want, but these things just have to happen. There's got to be something out there. Something that hasn't been tapped into. Something that Hollywood can do different other than regurgitate the same uh, plot. Regurgitate the whole sequence of, of like take parts of other movies that did well and glom them into one movie. Um, there's got to be something. I thought Thor Ragnarok was great. It did some things that movies just don't do. Although this was, I mean, pretty much probably in the comic book. I don't follow comic books because I'm that broke. I want to do Transformer comic books. Can't, can't do it. Want to, can't do it. But with Thor Ragnarok, it was a great script, hilarious. A lot of things were sensical. And when you call out when you call out the bullshit of things in a in a sensical way, that adds a lot of comedy to a movie. Um it combined other cartoons we had seen of the Hulk. It combined a lot of other things and elements. I thought that was great. It didn't seem like the whole movie was a ripoff. Say with um Justice League. I thought and it was, I mean, when you title a movie Justice League, you expect it to be a Justice League, not, hey, people that you normally would see in Justice League, they came together. No, it should be the form of a Justice League. It should start something. This wasn't the start. This was like, hey, we got a common enemy and we got to we gotta vanquish it. So let's do this. That's, that's not the form of a league. I get what they were doing, but I thought it just could have been something different. You know, it, I don't know. It, it could have been some, something different. But other than that, the movie was good. It was great. Um, you know, good plot. You know, but usually uh, comic books usually have good plots. So if you stick more or less to the comic book, you're going to get a good plot. You're going to get a good story, usually. Um, and obviously things got to be modernized from things that's been done 20 and 30 years ago. But... It's hard for people to come up with an absolute script that is 100% original, hasn't been seen, hasn't been done, hasn't been tapped into, and then once they do, you know what's going to happen. Every single movie out there is going to be is, is going to do the same thing. Every single one. Right now, the movies go, there's a threat. Okay, so... Is one guy or a group of guy or a pestilence or a plague or illness or alien something that's going to threaten humanity? Because it isn't going to be anything else. Which one reason why Avatar was a good thing? It it, it, it was weak, but it was different. Humans were the virus then. I like I like that 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 concept. But this, what I mean, you know, in, in normal, what I just said, everyone, you know, is, is something that's going to be a threat to humanity. All right. So after that, what's next? Two people in love or in a divorce or separated or they just met, but they're going to fall in love. They have to survive the whole thing. Everyone else be damned. They will pull along someone. Someone will be there. But if there's, it sucks, but if there's, if there's someone of, uh, denser color because you know white people y'all got color too but they're gonna get killed by sacrificing themselves which is boring and lame or um something jacked up is going to happen to them like kind of out of the out of nowhere but that loud violin build up pretty much let you know something is about to happen and then the false build up i'm like okay so nothing happened but it will because now you done told us something's going to happen at some point it's the movies are pretty much laid out in front of you. You don't really have a, a, a thing to go with anymore. And then after, you know, the, they, they, the, the whatever's going to happen is going to follow these people that are in love or have to, or hate each other, having to work together, but fall in love eventually something, you know, and unless it's two dudes or two women, then there's a chance. It's like, okay, they just have a rivalry and they're going to see it through. But one of them is going to die. That's just going to happen. Don't know why, but one of them is going to die. 
Um, so that 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 part of the movie that'll be established. That's the whole. That's that's pretty much half the movie. And then, as soon as um, that part is done, you've got the whole. All right, what's the other part? There's an issue happening. Somebody finds out, and the ones that can actually do something about it, they don't believe them. They don't believe them. Never will. Don't. Then all of a sudden, hell breaks loose, and they're like, "Oh, oh, this this is real. It's true. We need your help." All of a sudden, and then they try to bully them into, and they talk trash. They try to belittle them. I'm thinking, you know what? Just let the world burn. You know, you hey, dude. There's a giant ant hill in the back of your home, and the ants they're kind of glowing. And one of them told me, "Bitch, get out of here." I figured I'm gonna leave. You might want to get up out your home. No, nah, there's no such thing back there. Are you gonna look? Nope. Well, why not? Because you're crazy. Things like that don't exist. It's impossible. It's improbable. There's no way on this planet there's some a large anthill with glowing ants that's going to talk to you and especially going to swear at you. So no. All right. Later at night or during the day, what happens? The ants come in. They're, they're taking his, his food out of his refrigerator. They're talking trash to his wife. They got his kid at gunpoint. They got his wife at knife point. They're taking all this food and stuff. And he's like, oh, crap, the neighbor's right. So what does he do? Go to the neighbor. What do you know about this? Why would the neighbor just say, you had your chance, man. Deal with it. I got my home protected. No ants here. My home's protected. Why don't they just do that? Roll credits. You know, that, that that's how I see that. But no, they help him. And the dude's like, you better help me with this ant problem. You're the one that saw it. You told me about it. You knew this was happening. You probably did it. He's like, oh, okay, yeah. The one that warned you about it is the one that, okay, yeah, all right. They go through that crap. And the guy's going to jump down his throat and the guy's still going to help him or the girl's going to help. Whoever it is, the, the protagonist is going to help the jackweed half ass antagonist against the true antagonist. That plot's been done a billion times. So then let's say the day is saved and let's say one, usually one of them is sacrificed. Uh, they're sacrificed either, you know, script or uh, like a change of script at the last second, they choose to go, they chose to do something different to to end their life. It won't sacrifice. It was a horde of ants that jumped in his, his stomach and ate him out real quick or something. I don't know. So it's stuff like that. I'm like, come on. You know, now can I think of something original? Uh uh. More or less, yeah. But that's pretty much to what me and Cedra do for our own fun. That's I, we got a verbal role play and we we didn't have so many different plots and our plots are like 15 and 17 years old and stuff and we're just seeing them in movies today so we're like hey didn't we do this one already <laughs> we, we do that a lot uh, so I when it comes to movies we're never going to see anything original I don't want anyone to think you're going to see anything original because you're not it's, it's just it just can't happen the best we can do is hope that the CGI is believable. We can hope that there isn't any bad acting like the wife in Sharknado and her terrible, atrocious yelling. I mean, you're going to scream, scream, don't, ah, it's killing me, ah, no, dying. So, do something better. You know, Scream Queen should teach this woman what to do. So, yeah, what I'm just saying is, if you're gonna, if there's something original, get it out there. And if you find it, if you see it, if you stumble across it, share it. Don't keep it to yourself. Share it with, share it with the world because, damn it, Hollywood isn't gonna do it unless so, unless they lose enough money while the new thing is blossoming. That's how you get change. You got to hit them pockets. Hit them pockets and you will get change. That's what you got to do. So if you find it, love it, watch it, chill with it. Okay then, till next time, this is Edric Kennedy for Comparative Reasoning. Thank you for listening.